how prepared are you towards Sunday's game? Uh, I think we are well prepared. Not, okay. I can say about 80% ready. Um, the rest of the 20. <laughs> the rest of the 20, yeah, by Friday, I think we'll be fully prepared. Okay. So, um, judging from today's friendly match, I'm sure you are highly motivated. You know how prepared you are. How motivated are your players towards Sunday's match? Yeah, the game today is a moral booster. We are scoring six goals uh, for some time now. We've not been scoring. And getting a six today is a moral booster for Sunday's match. All right, coach. Um, Sunday game, no, Obiyan is crucial. Come back, coming back from three goals down. How difficult is, is it for you as uh, assistant coach? And yeah, it was hard to take. But they were able to score three. We can also do same, even more. Let's talk about um, formation, tactics, or system. The system is deployed in Mali. Will we be seeing any changes to this? It, it didn't work, or let me say, it didn't work to perfection. That's why we lost three zero. So on Sunday, should we expect any changes? Yeah, we're out there to try and get a point or win it, but it didn't work. But playing at home, I think uh, we have to go more direct and try and win it. Um, coach, uh, two questions. Um, what have you gathered from the Abamako team in the first leg going to the second leg? And also, um, looking at your 12th man at the stadium, is the occasion not going to get to you and your players? Yeah, they are a good side, but they are beatable. That's all I can say about the Bamako team. <coughs> and with our fans behind us on Sunday, I don't think they can contain us. So let's talk about mistakes from the team. In the last, uh, three previous Ghana Premier League games they've played, we've seen a couple of mistakes um, that has resulted in you conceding. So what are you working on to prevent that? Yeah, we, we, we are working on that. And today's match, it's a proof of what we have been doing for some time now. You can see that the defense was solid. We were confident, processing, starting the attack and everything very well. Please, Salifu play today. Yeah. Will he be involved on Sunday? Yes, of course. Salifu is a brilliant player. So he will get involved. Coach, okay. uh, is there any pressure on you? Um, your player could not do other than with regards what had happened after the game. Is it pressure on you to drop him? No, 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 there's no pressure on me. Konedu is a good player. Yeah. Football in general, you have your off days and good ones. And what happened is one of those bad days. But Konedu is a brilliant player, we all know. And I think you can see today he played very well. We just pray that. Uh, in, in Sunday's match, he will even do more, better than what he did today. Okay, let's talk about um, what you see when you go away in Africa. You see that the environment is somehow, let me say, hostile. And they are very dominant when you go there. We can talk about Waka and Jay Saura. Why is it that when they come to Ghana, they don't see the same thing? <laughs> Ghana is a football nation and, you know, we understand the game more. And most Ghanaian players have confidence. So when a team come, you know, normally, you know, when we play well, we can score them. So we don't tend to do those antics to win a game. That's all I can say. Okay. Your players because we know seen, we can play well. They've seen a lot of disappointment in Africa last year from the Confi Champions League to the Confederation Cup. And going to this game, they will be having memories of what happened last season. What are you going to do to erase that from their minds ahead of the game? I think we'll be working on that. Uh, I always tell them what even happened last week is past, it's gone. And we can't hold on to that. We just have to be focused and look at what is ahead of us. That's all. So what is past is past. We can't change it. So we are very focused. On the next game. Okay, coach, um, last week before you leave, um, 
the last time um, a Ghanaian team played in the Carpenter Class competition was in 2012, that's the um, Chelsea. I stand to be corrected. Are you hoping to break that jinx by overturning this four line? Yeah, that's what we are all praying for. And I'm very confident that we are going to qualify. The supporters are saying, say, Mubesha 4, Mubesha 4. Also, Mubesha I will not predict, but I said we will qualify. But I imagine. <laughs> I said we will qualify. So to qualify, you need to score goals to yes. qualify. You need at least four goals to qualify. Yes. The last time you scored four goals at home was in January. What are you going to do? This is football. Them? Anything can happen. You can even score more than four. So I said we're going to qualify. And I'm very confident in my voice. Okay. And I know. Sarah, Sarah. 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 Thank you. How prepared uh, are you towards the second leg of the cup competition? First of all, uh, I'll thank you for this opportunity to to uh, and I'll thank the supporters for them not uh, giving up on us. Uh, I would say, looking at how uh, training is going, we are well prepared, focused uh, towards the match we played on Sunday. Because uh, when we came back, we sat down, talked to ourselves that going in, uh, going into that match. We need to prepare more than 100 percent so that uh, we'll be able to qualify. And looking at what we do at the training ground, we are very much focused and prepared. Okay, so what you just said now sounded more like self-motivation. Mm. The rest of your teammates, how motivated are they? Oh, they are very, very motivated because looking at the training <coughs> we did, everyone is on his peak. We are all fighting because uh, it's not going to be an easy target. Uh, with uh, determination, hard work, we are going to uh, put in every effort to uh, qualify for our Darling Cup. Please, um, you, the boys will be for you to ask a question. All right, um, Mo, first of all, um, Mo Kwa away, Ekulu uh, we, we are not this game. As a senior player, who will team you um, A day in plan, a supporter in the Oh. Yeah, the supporters, yeah, what kind of supporters, so, shall I say, uh, although, uh, I call you to train me, but, if you focus on the channel, I'm busy. I'm more fast at supporting, I'm going to support you every day, I'm going to find Brian, 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 I'm going to find Brian. Ma, I'm going to hear about your assistant coach, David Akulu, in terms of his tactics, the system, um, how well have you guys adapted to that? Oh, then the mistakes you can correct into the second leg. Oh, looking at uh, the tactics uh, he brought in, is the same as we were playing. Uh, and uh, he's, he's the new coach, and it's now to see each and everyone and uh, how <coughs> each and everyone can contribute to the team. And looking at the relationship he brought into the team is superb because he has taken all of us as uh, his younger brothers his children, and uh, he's wonderful, he's wonderful. Okay. Um, Put all our best uh, to uh, give the supporters and our management what they are looking for. Okay, are you looking to take take some um, sort of inspiration from last season when you beat uh, Sora by two goals to zero? Um, getting into the game at Bamak, obviously you're playing at home. Is that a huge motivation for you? Yeah, it is, it is because uh, if you compare those two teams, uh, Swara is far ahead of uh, Mali, uh, the Mali team, the, the Bamako team. Uh, it's a source of motivation because we've done it here before. Uh, we've done it here before. And I believe, and I believe in my colleagues, and believe, have absolute uh, trust in my coach that we're going to turn uh, the 3-0, we're going to qualify uh, for our dollar. How many goals can I <coughs> respect? So that one I can't predict, but it is going to be. Oh, let's talk about motivation. Looking at the results um, we've got in Mali and the previous games we've played in Africa last season, don't you see that it's a difficult task to do overturning the results? That's why I said earlier on, it's a difficult task, but uh, nothing is impossible. It is possible, and you are going to make it. You are going to make it.